I want to talk a little bit about praying in tongues, which is really misunderstood in the Christian world. Praying in tongues is just the Holy Spirit inside of you using your tongue to pray to the Heavenly Father. The whole, you know, we, we only see what is around us. Oftentimes, we don't even know what to pray for. But the Holy Spirit sees everything, knows everything. So he will pray using your tongue to pray to the Heavenly Father. There has been, there are YouTube videos out where uh, there were things put on people's brains. And when they spoke in tongues, the part of the brain that when you speak that works, that d- didn't work. It's not you speaking. It's the Holy Spirit using your tongue to speak through you to pray the perfect prayer. You know, oftentimes you just don't know what to do. You're, you're presented with a situation, just start praying in tongues. And all of a sudden, you'd be surprised when you all of a sudden receive wisdom. You know, the Bible says your, our, our prayers can be hindered. A, a couple times um, it says Satan hindered, I think, Daniel's prayer, maybe even Paul's prayer. But the Holy Spirit cannot be hindered. When the Holy Spirit prays through you, his prayer, you can bet Satan can't touch. And it will come back. It, the answer will come back right on time. It will not be hindered. Praying in tongues is just, it's so powerful that, it, like, I, I guess if, if you don't know how to pray in tongues, don't worry about it. It's, it's nothing that you have to do. It's nothing that you need to do to be saved. But there's just more power behind it. You have the power of the Holy Spirit inside of you. It's, you know, I'm still, again, I don't know everything. I'm still learning myself. This is, I'm passing on to you what I know. And I have often received wisdom when I did not know what to pray and just started walking around the house and praying in tongues. So I encourage you, talk to the Heavenly Father about it. If you don't have this gift and you want it, ask him. Um, go to someone who has and see, you know, if they will, can pray for you or over you. That's what happened with me. I went to my pastor and um, I was prayed over and I received the gift. It's that simple. I wanted it and I received it. So I just want to encourage you. Don't be afraid of it. There's power behind it. But if you don't want it, then walk away. It, it's not something that you need to do. Just pray in your regular language. I hope this has been an encouragement to you. And uh, just go talk to the Lord about it.